She's got such a wonderful brain, my mum. I told her, I did a gig in Oslo recently. I told her, I was like, Mum, doing a gig in Oslo. And she looked at me and went, Ooh, in English? Probably. <laughs> How long have we known each other, Mum? <laughs> you would have thought once I would have let slip our new rudimentary Norwegian. <laughs> also, why would a T-Rex have a bed? Can't speak a foreign language. I'm the same as you lot. We're English. We're crap. You go on holiday, you just point at stuff. Chips. <laughs> Chips, man. <laughs> Can't speak a foreign language. Actually, 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 tell a lie. I know three words in Welsh. That's about it. Oh, oh wow. Have we got a Welsh speaker in? <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. You went up. No, I, I don't know. I just... That's where I'm from. I wanted to join in, that's all. <laughs> do, you, do you speak any Welsh language? Okay, I've got a lazy eye. I'm trying my best. There, gotcha. Curse these damn bastards. Do you speak the Welsh language? Lovely. It's the best language in the world. I wish I knew more. The three I know, I love. These are all genuinely true Welsh words. Number one, iron smoothie all. Number two, jellyfish wibbly wobbly. This is my favourite, microwave pop tea ping. Yes, people in the room knew it. Pop tea ping, it's an actual world. Who doesn't want to live in a world like that? Hello, is that 999? You couldn't send a Nina, could you? <laughs> yeah, I've had a smash smash in my brum brum. <laughs> pop tea ping? Imagine some poor kid working, an English kid working in a kitchen in Kavili. Put it in the pop tea ping, you fuckwit. <laughs> what do you mean, where is it? It's next to the bubbly drinky. <laughs> Why the jumping red bread? Come on! <laughs> Fucking wibbly wobbly over here! It's amazing doing gigs in Wales. I was in Cardiff recently and I said, what's the best thing to do around here? And this bloke shouted out, Visit Crossy Roundabout! <laughs> about full of prostitutes. No one ever. You think you've got a tough job. You imagine that woman. Hello? Come on. Check it out. Have a look. Who likes my fabulous vagina? Come on. Stop. Stop. Do you want a blowjob? They probably don't call it a blowjob. You probably call it a cocky slurp slurp. <laughs> Pop TP. Well done. Where was I? Oslo, that's where I was. I did a gig in Oslo, and do you know what freaked me out the most? Their menus. On their menus, deer and reindeer. That really freaked me out. And I spoke to this waiter, I said, mate, what's the difference between deer and reindeer? And this is how little of a shit they gave. This bloke looked at me and went, one is Rudolf. <laughs> the other is Bambi. <laughs> You must decide who you love more. It was minus 14 when I was over there as well. Can you imagine that over here? Minus one we can't deal with, can we? It's minus one, get some salt. There is no salt, I die. <laughs> minus 14. What was amazing, they didn't give a shit. I saw a man in shorts. I saw a bloke walking along. I saw trains running, planes running. They had a zoo that was open. You ever seen a lion at minus 14? <laughs> Just sat there. What the fuck is this bullshit? <laughs> what voice would he have? Come on. <laughs> I am so cold. <laughs> ah, chilly willy woo. David Attenborough came to see me. I did not roar. <laughs> Furthermore, it has come to my attention. <laughs> that England is a chocolate bar with my name on. <laughs> and I have received none of the revenue. It's bullshit. Isn't it, Mr. Penguin? Yes! <laughs> That's what my name...